Now, KCRA 3 Sports, powered by Toyota. Welcome back. I'm Doug Rogers. The first place 49ers will play at the Carolina Panthers on Sunday, a team that is 1-3, but head coach Kyle Shanahan feels the Carolina Panthers should be an undefeated team. You see a team that I think is playing really good defense. Um, I think they have some talent on their offense. Um, they've gotten in trouble just turning it over a little bit, which has hurt them. And I think that's um, similar to us. So I don't look at their record and think any differently. Well, a, uh, one uh, public safety personnel come together for a charity boxing card. This year, it's uh, taking place in Wheatland. Multiple members from all Northern California law enforcement agencies, as well as firefighting personnel, will be represented during the 19th annual Battle of the Badges boxing card. You're going to see high level amateur boxing. These guys are training at pro gyms with pro trainers. They're sparring with, with pro fighters. Um, people are going to be impressed. It's not like guys are training for a week. They're doing eight 12-week training camps to prepare for this event. One of the fighters on the 34-member card is Chuck Fow, a Sac County deputy making his seventh Battle of the Badges appearance. With the previous uh, six fights, I think just the comfort of being in competition with inside the ring. But as far as the nervousness, that never goes away. Um, I'm just trying to you know, relax a little more and enjoy enjoy the process a little more as much as I can. Brianna Doss, a state prison correctional officer, picked up the sport only 90 days ago, but being coachable has made her transition easier. I take the critique really well, so every time he gave me some input, I was able to implement it right away. Um, I. I just love learning it. I really enjoy it. And um, as tired as I was the first time, it's amazing to watch the improvement over the three months. Anthony Cross is a state prison correctional officer and is an undefeated two-time 190-pound champion and says his success is training everything. I don't think a lot of people realize it's not just the physical aspect of the training. You got to train the mind, too. My first three fights, I was a brawler, out of shape, didn't know how to control my wind. And now that I got the belt, I really had to stay humble and discipline myself in the technical part of boxing, the sweet science. Back to Brianna uh, Doss. After three months of training, her next goal is to win the gold. I did watch my kids do something similar. Both my daughters trained jujitsu and my husband as well. And they trained in three months and went to their first tournament. My daughter won gold and I feel like she inspired me to do the same thing. All right, the NorCal Battle of the Bradges is October 15th at the Hard Rock Casino in Wheatland. Doors open at 4. 19 fights are scheduled for the night. Matches will involve members from the NorCal law enforcement community as well as NorCal firefighters. Also, there will be a female boxing match jumping into that ring.